This is not to do canning in, but it is something that you can put your fruits in and steam them and extract the juice from them. Um, you can do all kinds of other stuff with this too. You can actually steam vegetables, you can do all kinds of stuff. Okay, the steamer comes with this little recipe and information booklet, which really was Actually, it had some really neat looking recipes in here. It had the usual proper care and handling, how to wash it, and how to put it together. Um, and then it gives a chart here on how to, to um, steam your fruits in order to extract juice. And the nice thing is that it, it'll tell you about how much juice you can expect to get, like from a quart. For, for example, um, choke cherries, you can expect to get about two to three cups of juice per quart of choke cherries. It has grapes in here, crab apples, cranberries, peaches, pears. Um, it also has recipes for like different combinations of juices. Um, apple cranberry, um, cinnamon, where was it? I saw one, a spiced apple juice, cherry juice, cherry cocktail, cranberry grape juice, different things like that. It also has some recipes in here for different things that you can make with your juice. For example, some jam and jelly recipes. Here's a really neat one. It's a ginger peach jam. I'm gonna try that one. Um, what you do is first you juice your peaches, that way you get that peach juice for you to use in other places, and then the pulp that's left over, you actually use that to make this jam out of. So that's a good idea. It, no, uh, it keeps you from throwing that pulp away, which is really good. It also has information in here on how to steam your vegetables. If you just want to steam vegetables for dinners, um, I could see if you have a large dinner or maybe a potluck or something and you want to steam a whole bunch of vegetables, this would work really well for that. Um, it's got some pudding in here, steamed pumpkin pudding. I'm putting that on my list to try because I, I like pumpkin. Um, it even has information in here on how to do meats in here, corned beef and cabbage, steamed chicken, fish, um, different things like that. Um, homemade sausage, if you want to make your own sausage and steam it. I might have to try that one too. So it's kind of a handy little book here. It's more than just the, just the washing and cleaning instructions. It's got recipes in there as well. Now it's made, it's, there's, let's see, one, two, three, five parts to this pot. Um, obviously there's a lid. It's a nice glass lid so you can see through. It's got a vent here for um, steam to escape. And this is the steamer basket. This is where your fruit or your food goes in here and it's got a strainer. I don't know if you can see in there. It's got all the holes in the bottom and that fits into this container right here. This is where your juice is going to collect. Let me show you that. This pan here, it's a solid bottom, but it has like a funnel thing in the center here, right here. And the steam is actually going to come up through this to steam your vegetables and then all the juice is going to drip around here and remain in this pot. Now on the outside of this, there's a, there's a spigot, I don't know, it's not called a spigot, but there's a little pipe here that um, when you want to take your juice out, you're going to put this little rubber tube on. There's a plug in the end and then when you, when you have enough juice in there that you want to drain it, you can use this tube to either fill your jars or fill a pitcher or whatever else you want to store your, your juice in. So that's, that's the other piece. And this part fits in here. And there's my phone. So that is the part that holds the juice for you. So your basket will fit in here. All your juice is going to drain into here. Now then there, there's the base pot. And this is where your water goes. Your water will be in here. Um, directions say you put about four quarts of water in here. Um, I thought it was interesting, they gave some tips. One of the tips was if you want your juice to, to be more juice and less condensation from the steam, that you would want to boil it at a higher rate. And then if you um, boil it at a lower rate for a longer period of time, you're just going to get more condensation and your juice will be a little bit more diluted. So I thought that was a nice tip. Um, but your juice pot fits right on here. You'll put four quarts of water in the bottom. That steam will rise up through this pan here, through that middle section, and it'll steam your vegetables in the top portion here. And then, of course, your lid. So I'm gonna do some cherries. I actually have cherries in the freezer that I'm gonna pull out and do today, so I'll get a video of that too. Um, you put, I put four and a half quarts of water in this bottom pot. All I did was just used a quart jar and filled it up four times and, and put it in there. 
Um, this pot is empty right now. That's where all the juice is going to collect. Be sure you have your stopper on your little tube here. You don't want juice running out prematurely all over your counter. Another thing I forgot to mention before is there's a, there's a little clamp that comes with this also. And it fits on the tube so that you can clamp it down. You can, you know, then put your tube in, one, in a jar, fill it up, clamp it down, put it in another jar, fill it up. So that's another little handy thing. And then I've got, like I said, four quarts of cherries in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty full. I'll be interesting to see how far down, um, how far down those settle as they're, as they're juiced and cooked. So I'm going to put the lid on here, let it come to a steam um, for about an hour, I believe. I'll have to double check my directions. Let me just do that right now. Yes, cherries are supposed to be, should take about an hour, 60 minutes, and I should get about two cups per quart. So we'll see how, how accurate that is and how close it is. Now you'll notice here that this is really pretty close to my hood. So it's a pretty big, it's a pretty tall pot. But keep in mind, my hood is lower than most range hoods, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of a pain. I can't use the taller canners and things like that. So um, if, you're, if, that, if that's a concern of yours, just be sure that you have enough space here. I think it's going to fit under most because mine is lower than most, so most of the hoods are going to be higher. But it is a bit of a tight fit for me. So I will check back in an hour and I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, so I let this cook for um, about an hour and a half. I let it cook for that extra half hour just because my cherries were frozen when I put them in there. And I wanted to be sure that it, there was plenty of time for it to thaw out and then do the full hour of cooking time. I actually didn't end up, this is actually the next day, I didn't end up being able to finish um, the video up yesterday, you know, life just got busy and my kitchen was full, didn't have a quiet moment, so. Um, but I wanted to show you what I got. I ended up with um, almost, not quite, three quarts of juice from the, the four quart bags of the frozen cherries. This one is just a little bit short of being full, but it's pretty, pretty close to three quarts. Um, I did find that it was easier when I was pouring when I was using the drain to uh, take my jars and just hold them lower, hold them out here while I did, while I used this clamp to drain it into the jars. It makes it lower than the pot and it just drained right out. And then I did have to tip the pot a little bit to get the last little bit out. But it worked really well. I'm pleased. I plan on using it. Um, I'd like to see if I can get some apple juice and if I can get some, get a hold of a bunch of grapes. I'd love to make grape juice. Um, this cherry juice, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, so I just put lids on it and put it in the fridge. You could make cherry syrup out of it. You can make cherry jelly. Um, you can just add some sugar and drink it as it is, or just drink it as it is without the sugar. It's a little bit, I'd probably prefer it with sugar, but um, it'll be handy to have. And so the Norpro Juicer Steamer. I